In the series of JavaScript sample project, we are going to create this car racing type in game using JavaScript. As you see here, I have the start button which I click on, which I can click on, and it's going to start a game for me. And as you see, it's going to bring me two cars with the red one is mine and the uh, yellow one is moving itself. And here I have a countdown timer which counts from 60 to 0. But if you follow the tutorial, you will be able to make it uh, longer or shorter. So here I have a, non a random number which proposes me to actually type here and if I type it here uh, you will see uh, and if this one will be equal with this one and if I push uh, press enter you will see that this car is moving. If you didn't see let me try once more you see that it's moving more and more. So. And at the end, whenever the timer reaches you, the zero is going to uh, announce the winner of this game. And after that, by the end of this tutorial, I'll have something for you. Which, whenever this timer reaches zero, I want you to make this car uh, to go a few back. So let's dive and create this coding. And as you see, it's, uh, it's telling me that I lose because I was a few back from the yellow car and if I click on OK it's going to restart the game for me again. So let's create this code. So here I'm going to write this HTML but before I start writing code make sure to subscribe my channel for more videos. So here I say uh, HTML and I'm, it's going to generate me this code. So here I'm just going to set the title to uh, car uh, racing. So after that, I'm going to set something here, which is the first one is the P, uh, a paragraph. This paragraph is going to hold an ID of uh, main timer. It's going to uh, hold the main timer that you saw, and it's going to hold the 60 with itself to show as the 60 before the game is a star. So after that, I, uh, I declare the div, call it, uh, it's going to take a class, it's so class is going to be a road and uh, and this road inside this road I'm going to create another div and call it the lines you saw that dear I has a line and uh, we're going to write the code for that one too so after that I'm going to uh, select the image those cars that you saw on the web page screen are some image so here I said it's SRC to car one. The car one is the red car dot GIF. Uh, it's formatted GIF, and I'm going to do the same with the other one here. I say car two dot GIF, and uh, it's going to take give me another car. Uh, it's going to represent both the cars. So after that, I need an each one for the word. So I say each one, uh, and it's going to hold the word uh, before everything. I said. Uh, everything occur I said by default to word and it's going to take an ID of a word so after that word and after that I'm going to set the that timer you saw at uh, this timer this here I'm going to set a timer so I say uh, P and it's going to take an ID of timer this one was main timer I remember this uh, the first one was main timer and this one is timer only and after that I need an input type as so I say input and it's going to its type will be text and it's going to hold an ID its ID is input type I said it input type so after that I'm going to set a placeholder to it placeholder is uh, something that um, and a person at text whenever you click on is going to be disappeared so here I say placeholder uh, I say type here type here so after that we need a button and that button I say button and it's going to hold an ID as normal as the ID is button 2 so I'm going to save it and go to the browser this is the project that we are working on actually this web page so I refresh it you see that our web page is looking like this and we are going to write, uh, fix it using, HT, uh, using CSS so 